Hey everybody! We are here today to tell you about one of our new favorite toys and we're here to demo it for you. It's called the Love Every Play Jam. It's brand spanking new and perfect for ages 0 to 12 months, which is kind of unique for a play gym because it's usually play mats or activity centers are good for babies when they're on their tummy or when they're like looking up in the air and playing with toys. This one is designed to grow with your baby from 0 all the way up to 12 months, even through toddlerhood because they have this fun little tent, the, a tent that you can put on it. My little girl Piper Jane right here is already almost 7 months. This large structure is all the way up here above her head. A lot of the play gyms that I've seen out on the market are actually a lot smaller and they're not made of wood. So what I'm going to do right now is bring you guys down to the floor with me to show you the mat up close. Here we are. Oh, baby, look. This is just one of the many things on the fun mat. So as you guys see, there's like a ribbon. There's, um, it's all different types of textures and like fun things for your baby to interact with with touch, which is really fun. I know my son was obsessed with tags. And so this is kind of like the way that he could indulge that tag that love of tags, right? <laughs> so this is just one corner. There are five corners. So I'm going to show you another one here. Jumping to this one. As you guys can see in the shot, it's already so lovely in terms of color, but in person, it's even more vibrant. This watercolor pattern that you see right here is absolutely lovely. Do you guys hear the crinkle? Also, So as you can see, that's one of like the, sa the sounds. So right there we had touch, now we have sound. And then right here, I think we have another one. It's like a hide and seek factor. Lots of vibrant colors happening. All right, here we go. Lots of beautiful colors. We've got this little, um, little ring right here that is removable. You can take it off like to wash it or anything. Tucks it in here, but then you can also pull it right out. So you can play hide and seek with baby. Lots of colors there. Here's a part that I have to bring you guys onto the mat to show you, which is kind of one of my favorite parts and Piper's favorite part right now too. Check it out. It opens up this little Velcro peekaboo thing, right? This is actually detachable. So I'll take it off. This piece doesn't have to be on the mat and it still looks completely great. The mat's lovely without it. Or you can add it on Velcro on the bottom as you see. I'm gonna just snap it right back. Nice, easy installation there. Open it up. And these four different patterns that I have right here are customizable. Right now I have a mirror, as you see, that Piper likes to push over. A mirror, an avocado, a little black and white modern type looking thing, and then a hand. Let me bring you guys up here for one second. They, in Love Every's packaging, they actually give you a bunch of different cards that you can use. I'll show you. This was included when I bought the Love Every Play Gym. So we've got Look, banana I could have put there. It's multiple sides. So we've got bananas. Oh, you want to hold it? This is a baby. And the reason that they have so many different things that you can choose is because as baby is growing, you can choose different pictures that kind of align with their development. So along with these cool cards, as you see, this is a mirror. There's another mirror if you wanted. All kinds of different cards. Look, if you look up close. Super cute, right? Um, so they've equipped it, they've equipped you with things that you can change out the four little pieces, which is really cool on this. I'll bring it to you one more time. Here's the piece all folded. And then here, these are customizable. So I can take them out, put them back in as I please. The whole Love Every Play Gym is washable. This part, like right here, but this part is not. This is just wiped clean. But you can just rip it right off with Velcro, throw the rest of it in the washer, which is super handy. Um, another thing, though, as I was mentioning, all of these fun pieces here, they equip you with a pretty much a guide on how to play with your baby based on their development. Are you so pumped about this? Do you want to hold that for me? Okay, let's look together. So this is the Love Every like play guide, basically. And I am absolutely fascinated with it because... If you look up close, they've got little tabs for all the different ages, zero to 12 weeks, three to six months, five to six, seven to eight. I'm gonna switch to seven to eight because Piper's almost seven months, just for fun. So here I am at the seven to eight months, right? In here, it says, it basically gives me a lowdown of where baby could slash should be in terms of development so that I can encourage play based on their stage. So as I'm looking, I've got in the seventh and eighth month, your baby is more attuned to your voice and can recognize words. Looks at your lips, mouth, and teeth as you speak. Sees difference in the details of small objects and goes on and on with a couple of different things. Then it switches to the next page. Not only does it give me an update, but it says, 
here is like something that you can try to practice in the seven to eight months, right? Here's what we're going to practice now. Encouraging forward movement. So I'm like, okay, that sounds easy enough. Let's see what that looks like. On the back, they explain how to do that. <laughs> so it's really helpful. Why do we do it? It's because it stimulates both sides of the brain. Crawling helps your baby develop binocular vision, fine motor skills, and balance. And then it says how to do it. So it explains like in, in this guide how to do it. It says roll the organic cotton high contrast ball just out of reach during tummy time. Okay, so I'm going to do this just for fun. Let's see if Piper's up for it. I know you don't feel good, baby. I know you don't feel good. Do you want to play with this ball? These cool little toys right here are all removable, so I'm going to remove one just right now because it told me to. It recommended that I encouraged forward movement, so let's try it. This is little organic cotton ball. Every little toy on here is made of organic materials, which is super awesome. Here's this little high contrast ball I just pulled off. Do you want to play for, play with forward movement? This little girl's actually already crawling, but like, let's just see what she does. Daddy, come on, Woo come on, baby Jean, come on, baby Jean, come on, boys. Yes, baby girl! So as you see, I mean, it's easy enough to sit down and play with your baby and just kind of explore what they want to do, but having some tools that equip you to do it and like explain really clearly how is really, really nice. Okay, let's keep talking about it. So that was this super cool book, right, that comes with the mat. Um, and as I said, it just, it gave me one example, um, roll the ball, detach the teething ring. It gives me like four different ideas on how I can encourage forward movement. It also gives me other things I can do, hiding and finding. It tells me I can try sensory play, and then it explains why and things I can do to help encourage that. So. This organic cotton ball removed, um, we played with it. It was right here, if you guys didn't see before. We've got a couple of other toys too, and I just showed you this guy that was totally customizable. I'm gonna put it back, because there's one more side to show. you. So I'm gonna put this down, bring you guys back to the floor. All right, let's switch to the last side. So we've already got those. This side, as you see, it, you can fold it down or you can fold it up, but it has those four pieces that you can customize. And then the last piece just has tons of colorful little fins. So you're also to, like learning color and encouraging baby. You can sit here and say, you know, blue, green, yellow. I have a two and a half year old son who also finds this play mat very exciting because it's so vibrant in color. We've got the colors here. There's no sounds here, just color, but these are fun little like movable pieces. And then the little taggy like sensory play that you can play with, right? And then I showed you this one that was encouraging sound. And then this one that was encouraging, like basically hide and seek and just has more lovely colors. So if you're not already convinced that this is pretty awesome, let me show you a couple more things. Check it out. It can become a tent. So you have the play mat that works already well for zero to 12 months. As you guys saw earlier, I had Piper here and she only went up to about right here. So she still had room to grow if she wanted to, which is really fabulous. But let me show you too, just the tent. Um, the instructions say that you just have to remove these little toys. Um, and then you can turn it into a tent, but just for kicks and for the ease of ease of showing you a little faster, I'm gonna just throw it over because it's very simple. Throwing it over. There's a little notch right here at the top, so it made it easy for me to find it. So put this guy down. And then just plug the feet into the little spots. All right, so now this play gym, this play mat has become a tent. Check it out, guys. There's that, here's the front, obviously it's totally open, but I'm gonna turn it so you guys can see this too. On this side, you've got Velcro open. So it just becomes a totally different toy. Um, I feel like this is actually a steal. When you look at the price originally, you're like 140 for a play mat, what the heck? But in the midst of Having to buy multiple playmats for different stages of your baby. I have several friends who have said they bought a playmat when their baby was small for like laying down and looking up in the air. Then they had to buy another one for when they were on like tummy time. And then they basically outgrew their playmat so it wasn't even worth keeping anymore. And then a lot of people buy a tent as baby starts to get older and wants to play peekaboo and do things like that. But you don't even have to buy another tent now. It's just part of this thing. It came with the came with the purchase. So turns into a tent too. I'm gonna show you also 
how it breaks down. Um, it doesn't fold down because it's wooden, but I actually appreciate that it's wooden, not um, the flexible. I've seen some play mats that have like those flexible, the bend, um, which is nice for storing, but also a pain if you have a little baby and then an older baby who likes to smash the little flexible pieces, that's a little dangerous. So in my case, I appreciate that these are totally solid wood. Um, so here's how it comes apart. No tools, no hardware. I just unscrew right here. Unscrew this piece. And then this part on the bottom loosens up a little bit. And then you can pull the legs out. That's it. And then there's three different legs, uh, obviously, one, two, three. Um, then you can move it from room to room. I actually, you're able to get it through the door without totally breaking it down. I know, I checked, don't worry. Um, you do have to maneuver a little bit because it's a little wide, but you just have to like go in where there's a dip, obviously. And then if you want to break it down, you can. I'm going to put it back together just for fun. As I said, no hardware or anything. There's just these three pieces. For washing, you just take this wooden part off. There's little Velcro attachments here at the bottom. As you guys can see right here, it just Velcros to this little hook. So you can take off the Velcro on all three sides, throw the entire thing in the washer, minus this part, which is Velcro. This is just wipe clean, but um, I can actually tell you, sadly, I had a blowout, well, not me, my daughter had a blowout <laughs> on this that. And so that had, you know, the bright yellow, not super cute. So I was like, let's do a test on whether or not this can handle the stain, right? I just took a baby wipe and scrubbed it really, really hard. The yellow was gone. And then I scrubbed again to make sure the smell was gone. And you guys can't see the stain now. I, I would have showed you if it was still there, I promise. But it's not there. I didn't even have to throw it in the washer. I just really, really scrubbed it to get with a baby wipe. Um, so that makes me feel confident that even though this doesn't need to be thrown in the washer, it'll still totally last, which is nice. Um, what else is there to show you? I feel like I've shown you all the fun things. If you guys are curious about um, any of the like pieces or fun stuff that it has to do, again, just keep in mind it's really great for development. I'm really impressed and like very excited to explore this book that came with it. Um, as I said, it's like a baby play guide. So I was I was showing you guys I think in the first and the beginning of the last video or the beginning of this video different activities that it told me to do for my seven to eight month old daughter. So. Definitely nice if you guys are interested. Um, check it out. Love Every, I think it's loveeverybaby.com is the website. Yep, loveeverybaby.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that whoever you've gotten this for, or if you get this for yourself, you totally enjoy it because it's actually a really awesome map. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.